South African Navy Diverse Recruitment Drive is, ladies and gentlemen, currently on its seventh province, being KwaZulu Natal. And of course, we are going to show off what KwaZulu Natal is made of. With me, I have a 2021 recruit, Able Seaman Ngobo, who is born and bred right here, Kwamashu. Able Seaman, how are you? I am good in yourself, ma'am. I'm good, thank you. Tell our followers, who is Able Seaman Ngobo? Uh, Able Seaman Ngobo is just a girl from Kwamashu who learned how to swim here in Kings Park and in Guamashu swimming pool. And can you tell us about your life in the South African Navy at the current moment? How you moved from being a civilian to be a military personnel? It was a very big change and very challenging, but with the people we are surrounded with, we are able to just soldier on and do everything. And in Giabona Namtlanje, we are in Kings Park Swimming Pool and you've met a lot of your friends that have, that obviously you grew up with and you telling them that they must push, how does it make you feel? And I mean you are a qualified South African Navy diver. I was at that point in 2021, I was very nervous, so me encouraging them, it's just the same thing as Pedro Samtem was doing on my time of the recruit. So. It's very encouraging. Commander Mojalefa Libya is the officer in charge of the South African Navy Diving School in Samuel Sound. Commander, we just had a chat with Abel Simen Ngobo, who is a product of the South African Navy Diving School. Can you tell us more about her, her progress? I mean, she was just a civilian not so long ago. Today, she's a qualified Navy diver. Yeah, well, the transition between being a civilian and a qualified diver, it, it's something that takes um, progress, it's something that takes uh, dedication. It takes what a person really wants um, to further find themselves in the correct places. I always tell people that to become a diver doesn't mean you get to the school and you have everything figured out. It's you getting to the school and eating this elephant one piece at a time. That's the best advice that we ever can get. Just fight for the day and wait for the other day. So Ngoba is one of um, the candidates that came from a recruitment process of 2021. She's qualified now. Um, I always say anybody who finishes diving course, it's somebody that has done the required amount of work and due diligence in what we require at the end of the day so that uh, these divers can be deployed and uh, conduct their jobs that the divers, especially the South African Navy divers. You know, Commander, there's this one question we get from our followers. Look at Ewis Mengoba, she is very tiny. What do you have to say about that? You know, I, I just had to put it out there, sir. If you've seen Ngobo when she got here and now, you'll see the difference. Remember, the school is a uh, center of excellence that when you get to the school, the first three months we break you. I'm not going to lie to you. The first three months we break you, that's a period where we uh, differentiate between those who want to be at the school and who actually wants to become a SA Navy diver. After the three months, then the building process starts. That's when the books come in. That's when we now start to identify the areas of concern where we can make you better. So the process of the course is designed in such a way that by the end of the course, we have the final product that we want. Unlike in the past where we had these uh, misconceptions that uh, divers are only gigantic guys, divers are only people of a specific uh, weight, height. No, that's not the case. Divers is those that have the heart to start the heart process and finish it at the end of the day we've got qualified divers. Abel Simen Ngobo Usekaya, what message do you have for the youth of KwaZulu-Natal at large? Uh, I'll just say, Ozani, come and try out. You can see I'm so tiny, but it's doable, even if it's not easy, but you just have to push yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from Abel Simen Ngobo. She is very tiny, however, very strong at heart and at mind. We are still calling on to the youth of KwaZulu-Natal to come try and see if they've got what it takes to be the next Abel Simen Ngobo.